Look after the quality, and the profit will take care of itself. Can that be true? Why is it more profitable to improve quality than to cut costs? Actually, it's more a question about aim and focus. If you simply look to cut costs in whatever way seems quickest and easiest, then your aim will be off and so will your focus. You run the risk of a lot of collateral damage, shooting whatever gets between you and your target. For instance, you might look at your labor expenses and decide to reduce headcount. That may cut your labor costs, but it means that if you want the same amount of work, it will have to be done by fewer people and you will either put your quality at increased risk or risk missing deadlines. However, a clever man by the name of Dr. Deming taught that if you aim for more efficient and effective processes, for producing quality products or services that will exceed your customers' expectations, then over time you should get an increase in profit as a byproduct. Why? Let's look at a simple example to illustrate one way that quality increases profit. In this example it is because of less scrap or less rework or both. Let's say you run a factory with a defect rate of 5 widgets per 100. Your revenue is limited to 95 saleable items per 100 but your costs are still for 100 items. Let's say selling price is $1 per widget. Production cost is $90 per batch of 100 items. Your profit will be $5 per 100 widgets coming off the production line, of which 5 are scrap. If you improve production quality by about 5%, such that there are zero defects, then this is what you get. So, a quality improvement of about 5% in the production process has resulted in a 100% increase in profits. Not too shabby. Ah, but, you say, there is an additional cost for improving the quality and reliability of production. OK, even if we increase the cost of production by 5% to $94.50 per 100 items, that would still give us a 10% increase in profits. The other side of this coin is that a quality improvement in production can be expected to translate into an improvement in the reliability and other quality attributes of the finished product or service. That should have a knock-on effect on enhanced customer satisfaction, which, in turn, creates loyal and returning customers out of one-off customers. So, what's the moral of the story? Look after the quality and the profit will take care of itself.